Mayor Bonnie Crombie here. This year, Canada Day is quite different from years past. As I look out my window at the stillness of the square today, I'm reminded of why we are apart right now. And that's so we can be together again next year. I want to recognize the incredible sacrifices all of you have made over the last year to keep our community safe. I know for so many people, it has been a very challenging year, but we are now finally returning to the way of life we all missed so greatly. COVID-19 cases in Mississauga have reduced dramatically over the last two months. And this is thanks to everyone's efforts listening to the advice of public health and of course, going out to get vaccinated. We have now administered first doses to close to 80% of residents 18 plus and second doses to more than 35% of residents 18 plus. This has meant that so many of our small business owners who have been so heavily impacted by extended lockdowns have finally opened their doors once again. We are now able to spend time with family and friends and enjoy the activities and small pleasures that are so essential to our well-being. As mayor of this great city, what's truly inspired me over the last year is seeing the true spirit of Mississauga emerge time and time again. We have seen so many of our residents, businesses, and organizations come together to support those most in need, as well as our hospital partners, through countless food drives, PPE donations, and more. We have seen our frontline healthcare workers put their lives at risk every day to keep our community safe. We have seen our essential workers keep our economy running by going into work day in and day out to make the products we've all needed to survive. As a city, we have so much to be hopeful for. That's because we are a compassionate and caring city a city with so many diverse cultures and traditions. A city on the cutting edge of innovation that is still only coming into its own. Today, I hope you feel the optimism that I do about the future. Optimism that the next year and the years to come will be brighter and better. And I want you to know that each and every one of you are an essential part of our future as a city, as a province, and as a country. But this year's Canada Day is different for another reason. Across the country, many communities are not celebrating, but rather reflecting. In Mississauga, we are as well. Like so many people, I was shocked and saddened by the discovery of the remains of 215 children on the grounds of a residential school in Kamloops, British Columbia. And more recently, the discovery of 751 unmarked graves found at a former residential school in Saskatchewan. Sadly, these discoveries will likely not be the last of their kind. I grieve for the hundreds 
and likely thousands of children in the unmarked graves who never had a full life and experienced tremendous pain and suffering and deep sadness. I grieve for the parents whose children never came home and the residential school survivors who still live with so much pain. In Mississauga, we stand in solidarity with all Indigenous people impacted by these tragedies. The residential school system was one of the darkest chapters in Canadian history. And the recent discoveries remind us that we still have so much more work to do as a country to truly reach reconciliation. Today, we must all make a commitment to learn the full and real truth of our past, reflect on it, and act. Then, and only then, can we attempt to reconcile with our Indigenous brothers and sisters. Today, we must reflect on how we can strengthen our relationships, respect, and understanding of Indigenous communities across Canada. Today, we mark Canada Day. We must all reflect and remember that Indigenous communities were the first to call this land home. And that as a country, we must unite to ensure Indigenous communities have the respect and support they need to flourish in Canada. While COVID-19 has seen our community unite, we also witnessed other events both here and south of the border that show us that we have so much more work to do to truly create an inclusive society. In June, we witnessed a horrific tragedy in London, Ontario, that saw four members of the Muslim community murdered in a terrorist attack. We mourn this loss, and our thoughts are with the family of the nine-year-old who thankfully survived, as well as with the London community and all Muslims in Canada who are deeply hurt that something so terrible and hate-filled could happen in our country. This tragedy, as well as the discoveries at former residential schools, come at a pivotal moment in the conversation about systemic racism in our society. With groups like Black Lives Matter in the light of the tragic George Floyd killing in Minnesota demanding change, we've seen the Asian community also raise the serious issue of anti-Asian hate after six Asian community members were tragically murdered in Atlanta earlier this year. If we truly want to eliminate racism and hate, we must acknowledge that prejudice against racialized and marginalized groups still exists within the hearts of too many people in this country. We must recognize just how pervasive systemic racism actually is. And we must do more as individuals, as governments, and private institutions to not just denounce racism and discrimination, but to build inclusivity in everything we do and do more to elevate the voices and stories of racialized and marginalized groups. This will ultimately create mutual understanding and respect and challenge existing prejudices. It's a time to mourn, but also a time to take action in building a more inclusive society. I'd like to now take a moment to welcome Chief Stacy LaForme of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations to share some powerful words about the pain that many in the Indigenous community are feeling right now. Welcome, Chief Laform. What if Canada Day? This year, you will not see any parades. You will see no fireworks light up the sky. This July 1st will be quiet and thoughtful as we gather with family and friend, as we consider the legacy and the future of this country. The truth is before us. There are no more excuses to be made or accepted. An awful, unimaginable truth has been confirmed. This land is built on the bones of the Indigenous people and the tears of their children. They wept for stolen children as we hugged and loved ours. They grieved as their future died at a desk, in a bed, at the hand of a stranger. We sent ours to school, to chores, kiss them good night as we tuck them into bed. So there can be no Canada Day this year. 
there can be no celebration. We will not have our indigenous brothers and sisters mourn as we sing, dance, and make merry. This is a moment in the life of this country that will determine our future. We need to be united in this moment to express our love and equally important our support. For this is not just the indigenous history, it is our history. These are not just the indigenous children, they're all our children, the children of this land. And we cannot celebrate until we have justice for our children. We have answers for our people and we have accountability for our future. We are with you today and always. What if? Be safe, be heard, Bama P. Thank you, Chief Laform. I would now like to take this opportunity to invite Takashi Inagaki, Mayor of our sister city, Korea, Japan, to virtually join us and share his thoughts. Welcome, Mayor Inagaki. Happy Canada Day. え、皆さんこんにちは。カリエ市長の稲垣武史です。え、カナダ建国150年の記念日に際し、カリエ市民を代表し、心からお祝い申し上げます。おめでとうございます。え、本年はまたこの7月7日にカリエ市と三笹市
est de remplir loyalement mes obligations de citoyen canadien. Mississauga, I hope today you find time to reflect on how far we've come over the last year and the brighter future we have in store. I also encourage everyone to reflect on how far we still need to go in Canada to truly understand our past and create a city and country that is as inclusive and accessible as it is diverse. Tonight, instead of lighting our clock tower red and white as we usually do, we will be lighting it orange as a symbol of solidarity and support with Indigenous community members across this country. Stay safe, Mississauga.